Hello and welcome to Inside Homebrewing. I'm Jay Thomas and this is a glass of foam. Not much I can do about that. I need some homebrew. Anyway, today's project, what I'm going to be doing is uh, filling up a uh, Cornelius keg. Here's my keg of uh, empty beer. Here's a carboy, been cold crashed now for about four days. It's got a, uh, a smash beer in it. It's just uh, German Vienna malt and uh, Saz hops. And what is it? Y East 1084, I believe it is, the uh, Irish uh, ale yeast. So I'm going to end up, uh, I'm going to take this apart, show you how that's done. And fill up this Sankey keg, you know, get it all cleaned out, rinse out those uh, beer lines, and get that filled up with the beer that's in the carboy waiting to be uh, waiting to be put on tap. Anyway, time to get started on this. First thing I want to do is uh, shut off the uh, pressure. I got a uh, little valve in here, shuts off the uh, the CO2. Then drain the pressure out of here. That should be pretty good. And just uh, take that off. There we go. I'm going to be taking the uh, tap off there to clean that out, and uh, I'm going to be running uh, sanitizer through the uh, hoses. So get this keg out of here and uh, get that taken apart. So I do have a few tools to uh, get the uh, get that spear out of there. Anyway, just a uh, a small regular screwdriver, a larger regular screwdriver, needle nose pliers, a little rubber hammer, and most importantly is the uh, the Sankey spear tool or the uh, Sankey spear removal tool. I'll show you how that works. We'll get this taken off here in just a sec. So with the, the Sankey spear removal tool, what it does, it's basically, it's kind of like a, a wheel puller, but it's a press. So it just uh, got the end on here, fits over. It's got a couple notches, fits the notches in the, uh, in the uh, keg. So what it does, it just uh, slides on there screws down tight and uh, what it's going to do it compresses it's going to be uh, compressing the uh, spear down inside on there it's got a uh, little rubber seal it's going to compress that the uh, spear compress that seal and what happens it's going to give a little room because on there is a uh, see if we can get that to come in so on there is a uh, little uh, kind of an, a ring, a metal ring around here that holds it all into place. So I'll just take the uh, take the tool, put it on there, get that lined up. There we go. And just press it down. Screw that down. I'm gonna press, press down that seal. That way it gives room to. Uh, and it did release a little bit of the uh, leftover CO2 inside there. Just crank that down. That's gonna compress that seal inside there, making it easy to uh, pull that ring off. I'll make sure it's real tight. Yeah, that's tight as it goes. So it's got a little notch. Here it gives you gives a little access to uh to pull that ring out. In theory. <laughs> it does. There we go. 
Get that down inside there, pull it up. If you have a small enough screwdriver, you can fit down inside there. Or the needle nose, it's just kind of a, a little bit of a pain, but that skinny screwdriver fit down inside there. Got that ring off of there. That's no big deal, that's just, see how that works. Then release the pressure on here. Take this off and uh, release this. Now that's all ready to come apart. So you can see on here, these not that got the notches on the side, but uh, then you just turn the spear to line up the notches on that spear to the outside of the keg part. See the notches just line up, comes right out of there. So now what I'm going to do is just uh, get this all cleaned up, clean out the inside of the keg, get some uh, sanitizer in there, run the sanitizer through that uh, through that beer line and fill it up with uh, that beer that's been cold crashed. I'm going to uh, add some gelatin to it also. Time to uh, just get this cleaned up and ready to get some beer back in it. So I have the uh, tap and the faucet all taken apart, rinsed out. Got the line off, pretty much. It's just still on this uh, one piece. But uh, I'm going to get all these parts into, uh, into uh, some sanitizer. Get the inside of this hose soaked out with some uh, sanitizer. And here, I was talking about, you can see that uh, O-ring on there. Basically, you're just compressing that O-ring down a little bit. So, to give you room to uh, get that... Get that uh, metal ring off of there. So that just comes off. So I'm going to uh, wash all this up. It's got uh, that uh, sanitized lubricant on here so it uh, comes apart easy. But uh, get this all rinsed off and soaking in sanitizer along with the, uh, the keg. I'll show you what we got going on with that. So with this keg, it was uh, spitting foam. You know, just like a Cornelius keg. These Sankey cakes, you have a little bit of a loss, not much. See if it looked down inside there, it looks pretty good. Just get it all, all rinsed out inside and uh, fill it up with uh, some sanitized water. Get that soaked up and cleaned up. So for uh, cleaning out the inside of the spear, I found this. It's a uh, lint brush that goes to uh, clean out the a dryer, the lint out of shove it down the inside of the dryer. I just picked that up at a appliance parts store. I don't know if it's going to work, but uh, I like to know that the inside of this is scrubbed clean. So we're going to try this out right now. Get some uh, soap on there. Put a little water inside here. Oh yeah. Oh, that's awesome. And on these, there's a uh, the little ball inside there, spring loaded behind it, so it's uh, sealed. Just press on that ball. It's gonna rinse off the inside of that uh, rubber seal. See how that's all put together. 
that little ball just press down on that and that uh, will release that it'll then the liquid can flow through there and rinse out the inside of that so now I'm just going to uh, fill it up with sanitizer let that sit for a while and uh, rinse out the inside of a keg so I got this uh, I got this homemade bottle washer I made a long time ago. Rinse out inside of carboys, kegs, bottles. Works rather well. Got the high pressure fitting on the end, nipple on the end of that. Quick rinse. So it looks pretty good inside there. So uh, I'm just gonna fill it up with sanitizer now and uh, go from there. So I got all the uh, parts soaking in that uh, bucket of sanitizer. All the uh, the tap part and the uh, and the uh, faucet. So what I'm gonna do now? I take this spear. That's been all washed off and ready to go. So what I'll do is uh, put it down inside the uh, inside of here. It's uh, totally full of uh, sanitizer. So what I do is just uh, press down on that ball so that fluid can run up the tube and uh, put it just down inside there. Press down on that, put it in place, and there's sanitizer all the way through it and up on top. So now I'm just going to uh, go make my barbecue and come back in a couple hours and get it all put back together and add some uh, beer to it. So it's the next day. Everything has been uh, washed, rinsed, and then uh, sanitized. Got it all back out here now. So the, uh, the ring, I'll show you how this works. They just that seal. Slide that down over the top of the, slide this down over the top of the, the spear. Get that into place. And I've got this uh, this uh, sanitary lubricant just to uh, put on that uh, keep that O-ring Keep that O-ring nice and uh, and lubricated. Keep it from drying out. Put a little bit of uh, that lube around the side of the side of the spear here, where it goes into the uh, into the top of the keg. Just get that all there. And the same thing with the uh, on the keg. It's on the uh, tap for the keg just get some of the uh, lube on there just so it makes a good seal and doesn't dry out there's also inside inside of here try to get a little bit of that lube on that rubber seal inside of here All good to go now. And this seal just slides over over the end of the uh, tap here. So now that's all put back together. So now I'm going to put the hose back in place. Put that hose back in place. That's all cleaned out, ready to go. The uh, faucet itself has been cleaned and sanitized. I'm going to get all that put back together. And in the meantime, I'm going to heat up some water. We got three quarters of a cup of water, and I'm going to add some, uh, heat that up, and add some uh, gelatin to it. It's just the uh, fining gelatin. Heat that up, get that dissolved, and uh, then it's going to. Uh, I'm going to transfer the beer into the keg, and add the gelatin on top, and 
put that put it all away. So what I'll do is uh, I'm going to take the, uh, the CO2 and fill up the uh, fill up the keg with CO2. I'm trying to avoid any uh, oxidation as it's transferred. You can do the same thing with uh, transferring from primary to secondary also. Let's get that put in there. Turn it on and uh, add the CO2. Just let that run for a little while, fill it up, make sure it's full of CO2 and no air. I have no idea, so I'm going to call that good. I'll just take a uh, cover that up for a minute. Water heated up, and just siphon this right on top of here, get right into the uh, cake. So now I'll just uh, start a siphon. See where that hose is down on the bottom there. And get a little bit in this cup for a sample. There's Bobby. And get that down as far as I can. And just let that uh, siphon siphon on into there. Then when that's all done, I'll be uh, adding the uh, dissolved gelatin into the top of that. So now I'll just take a uh, gravity reading on there. And the taste, of course. So. 1 1.016. 1 1.016. Sample. Oh, that's good. That's real smooth. Oh, I like that. That's going to be real good here in a few days once that's carved up. Almost Pilsner like with the uh, all the sass hops in it, but a little more. A little more something to it from it's just all Vienna malt so yeah that's that came out good oh I like that so now just dissolve into this water a uh, one uh, teaspoon of uh, gelatin Get that all stirred in there, dissolve, and I'm just going to dump it right on top of the beer. And I didn't sanitize a funnel, so uh, just have to uh, see if I can get that to dump in there without making a mess. Oh yeah. That worked out. Now to get this sealed back up and... Uh, Put some put some uh, CO2 to it. So now to put it all back together, just take the uh, the spear, slide that right down. You see the uh, notches on either side here. Just fits in there like that, and it turns just a little bit to go back into place. And I cleaned I cleaned up the end of this because it's going to be touching where it uh, sends the beer through. So then just uh, crank that down, get it to line up on the notch here. It's got a notch on either side. It's going to line up with that. And then press it down. You want it real tight so it compresses that, uh, so it compresses the, uh, that O-ring in there.
then take the uh, the keeper ring, whatever this is called, and put that. Thread that through here so that it's back inside. And what you want to do is have the end of it right here, have that top very end of it to line up as close as possible to one of the notches. Get that bottom fit into the slot. And wrap it around. That's pretty close. There it's in, it goes right into place. Take the screwdriver, make sure it's tapped all underneath there, as even as possible, all the way around. And release the pressure. That's going to keep it all in place. Real easy. Real easy to do. If you have this tool, it makes it much easier than trying to manually get that off of there. And it's all lined up now. The tap should go on there real easy. Just to make sure. Might need to pound this part over just a little bit. There we go. I think that's going to do the trick there. Looks good. I'm going to uh, put put together the uh, the faucet and get this up back into the uh, refrigerator and get it tapped. And I'll just get the uh, cap all put back together. That goes in there. Slides right in. And this goes on top with the uh, O ring. And that goes back in there. And then, uh, oops, doesn't want to stay. All right, goes there, and then this piece. Not much to it, yeah, Sankey cake. And that just screws right in here. Okay, that's all put back together. I'll go bring that out into the garage. So now I'll just take a little bit of the uh, sanitary lubricant again. And put that on the uh, rubber seal that's on the on the top of that spear. Just a little bit of that, a little bit on that uh, ball. And attach the uh, tap. Then this, just take this hose, it's going to attach to uh, here. It's a nice tight fit. And then just uh, get the rest of it hung up coiled up and uh, hung up here out of the way. Just grab a uh, zip tie and do that. So I uh, downloaded this. I've got keg beer a few times. I don't do it that often. I thought this was uh, interesting, a bottler's guide to kegging. So anyway, it mostly goes through uh, Cornelius kegs here and all that. But uh, the most important part of what I want is the, uh, the temperature and the desired volume of CO2. So we're running at uh, about 38 degrees, 
well it, it warmed up a little bit but it's going to cool back down to 38 degrees so i go over here 38 degrees i want quite a bit of uh, carbonation in there uh, as with any of my beers it tends to me i think these tend to be a little less uh, carbonated so uh we're going to go 38 degrees at uh, 2.8 volumes so just slide over 14.4 it's going to be uh, set it at 14.4 pounds of pressure and forget it. And that way it'll just naturally absorb as much carbonation as you need. Just set it and forget it. Leave it alone. And then once it's carbonated, turn it back down to uh, just a uh, enough pressure to, to serve the beer. I got this all put back together. Got the gauge here. Get this turned on. Okay, it's showing we're at right now 10 pounds of pressure. Turn that up. It's at about 14 and a half. See what that settles at. I may have to adjust it here after a little while. There we go. Oh, <laughs> whoops, the joys of uh, home brewing. I uh, made a little mess on the floor. Anyway, it's pushing beer. There we go. Guess it's important to uh, make sure the tap handle is off. Okay. And bleed out any more air that may be in there. And it's uh, filling up, doing its thing. I'll clean up my mess and uh, come back in about an hour or so and uh, check and see where my pressure's at and get it adjusted accordingly. So I have that turned down to where it should be. And it's cooling off again. I'm trying to get it down to about uh, 38 degrees. And uh, everything's looking good. I'm just going to leave it alone now for about three days and uh, take a sample then. But they say every now and then or actually they say you can uh, shake it for about 15 minutes and get that uh, CO2 to, to uh, dissolve into the uh, beer faster but uh, that's too much work I'm just gonna leave it alone for a couple days and uh, go from there we'll check it out here in the, after the holiday so the beer's been sitting in there for about four days now and I'd come by every now and then and uh, would shake the keg, getting more CO2 to dissolve in there a little faster at that set pressure. It's only going to get so much CO2 into the mixture, and that's all that it can get. So now what they say to do is to, uh, what we'll do is uh, I'll turn down the, the pressure, release the... Uh, Get that, get this down to about 10 pounds. A little more, turn it down some more. Here we go. About a steady 10 pounds right there. that fill back up and uh, what's in the hose up there that was my oops moment when I first tapped it I don't think that's gonna be carbonated and there's always gonna be a little sediment on the bottom and get this uh, moth out of here but uh, anyway so I'll probably end up with about a half a glass of uh, of a uh, sediment of uh, no foam and uh, sediment let's we'll see what we got here chunks in there toss that out here we go oh yeah that's looking good I think we're on to something here I'm 
Not too bad on the uh, clarity. I added the uh, gelatin to it. Nothing floating around in the bottom. Oh yeah, that's good. Let's fill that back bad boy up. Oh yeah. So there you go, keg beer from a Sankey keg. Not bad. The price on the Sankey keg may be about 10 bucks more, I think, than the uh, new Cornelius keg. And then you're gonna wanna buy that uh, the spear tool, to uh, the uh, spear removal tool to get that spear out of there. It's just a lot easier than trying to pry that thing off and pull it out without putting pressure down to get it out. But you have less parts to, uh, to deal with to clean and that could possibly leak. So I just prefer the Sankey keg and also by if you get store-bought beer, you don't need to switch out any of your equipment. You already have it there. Just get store-bought beer, put it in there, bam. Got beer on tap. All right. Just that easy on a Sankey cake. Till next time, Inside Home Brewing. Oh yeah.